Kia ora tato. Kia ora tato. It's Cameron and Michael here, and we are here bringing you RAM, a random access memory. So we are. Um, so, uh, Cameron, can you let me know if you've turned my microphone on? Now uh, I have. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Sorry um, about that. Really? Okay. Michael's microphone is on, and he is coming to inspect my handiwork. Okay, I just didn't hear me much. But keep talking, you're right. There we are. So, um, what's up in the Wired Upper this week is what we're exploring, and we've got some very exciting things happening in our lovely district. Um, a big one that we are really trying to promote is Room at the Inn. Community Christmas Lunch is a free Christmas lunch for anyone in the area needing love and community on Christmas. It's a great thing, isn't it? And it's been going since 2002, I think. Has it really? Mm. So this will be its 20th year. You can count and subtract <laughs> and stuff. Well done. <laughs> Only for a few more years yeah. while it's still fresh. Um, they, requ they request um, booking by Sunday the 18th of December via a link um, that you can... Uh, retrieve from us if you need it. Yeah, I think the the problem with saying all these links on the radio is, well, you know, they're not links anymore, are no, they? No, they're not. But um, I think she's given an email address, and if you go to that, people listening, then then that's how you can find out more. Excellent. We've got um, it's the venue's Truss House Recreation Centre, the War Memorial Stadium, Stadium, and they'd like to know how many um, adults and children. Both, and they'd like to know the age and gender, so that children may have a special gift on Christmas. Great. How lovely is that? And so I guess these, this is for people who perhaps uh, can't afford the, the whole Christmas thing, or maybe they just don't have people to be with over yeah. Christmas, which is a really nice thing. Yeah, it's, it's nice to have people surrounding you that care about you. Yeah. Um, they have an email, office at mcclife.co.nz, um, or call 06-377-1598 for more info or help if you have trouble booking. Great. So that was MCC Life. Office at mcclife.co.nz. Ah, great. Um, they say that there's always room for everyone and they would love to hear from you. Great. Yeah. So um, if you would like to spend some Christmas with people or... Um, you'd like or you don't have the means to provide or you just like to spend some time with your community that is available on christmas day for anyone that is interested really good hey if you feel like warbling mm. there's carols at cobblestones coming up cobblestones as you know is the uh, the historical museum at uh in Greytown. in Greytown. and this is on this saturday 4 30 to 7 30 so it's a great start to the Christmas season as they uh, get in their beautiful gardens and you can have a sing-along with your favourite Christmas songs and carols. The Vicky Clayton Band will be playing at the old, all the old favourites as well as some new tunes. I've got to say, new tunes are a good idea. <laughs> you know, you can just get kind of... Um, Overplayed. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and encouraging everyone to join in. So bring a blanket for the ground or some garden chairs and enjoy a relaxing time. Uh, that's uh, in the late afternoon with the S Blue Schools Waiata to kick Ooh. off the performances. I, I remember Blue Schools. I think they're uh, an early childhood group. Yeah. Let's uh, see, Santa <laughs> will, of course, arrive and you'll be able to tell him how nice you've been this year or give him your excuses for being naughty. Hopefully we don't get that piece of coal. Mm. Oh, the, the, yeah. So bring a picnic or there will be lots of delicious Christmas treats to purchase from their cafe. So if you forget to, or you can't be bothered, you know, bring your own or purchase. Um, and for the older members of the audience, you'll be able to buy wine and beer from the gazebo. I was thinking, you know, old age pensioners, but I, I was guess thinking the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, they'll be serving. Us. <laughs> yeah. Barbecue, sausages, sausage rolls, Christmas mince pies, and lots oh. of other delicious snacks. There'll be a few stalls to get those last-minute Christmas gifts. Can he, uh, so, uh, if you want to find out more, get on their Facebook page. But what more do you need? Go to Cobblestones on Saturday, 4.30 to 7.30. Well, you'll get some delicious food there at the very least. Yeah. Um, we've got... Um, at Art Toy, um, an exhibition, uh, Land Girl. We did discuss this last week. We did. But um, due to unforeseen events, they have rescheduled the joint opening and artist talk until January 2023. 
Right. So um, it was supposed to be uh, against the themes of traditional wool industry, Leah Vivian Cre- uh, Creven uses modern techniques and fibres, abstract forms and non-representative colour palette um, to enrich the viewing experience. Her exhibition is a selection of works, positive and uplifting, which communicates her connection in- to the countryside, agriculture and her adopted land. Yep. So just to be clear, I mean, you can go to that exhibition. As it is open now, but the opening talk is delayed until January. January 2023. And I'm sure we can update you as to when that will be closer right. to the date. We've also got something very exciting. Men's Group Overnight in the Wilderness at Tararua Forest Park. Saturday the 17th of December, so that's tomorrow. Uh, 4 p.m. to 11.55 p.m. Sharing the stories around the campfire with an open and diverse group of local men, 17 plus, who feel the need to connect with self, group, mountains, river, night silence in the forest. Happy to have 14 plus guys accompanied by father, grandfather, caregivers. It's a lot of stuff to connect with. Yeah. Each other, nature. Um, they say that they meet every fourth Saturday of the month during the afternoon, walk about 20 minutes from the cars to the campsite, build tents and have a fire um, if they do have a current fire permit. Um, they like to share stories, kai, some music, experience a swim in the river and sleep under the stars. Great. You can participate actively or just be present with no pressure at all. Um, bring some food to share, warm clothes, sleeping bag, you know, all the stuff you'll need for staying overnight, a torch. Um, they also say maybe a drum or any instrument if you're feeling up to that. Yeah. Um, register by writing to men's group dot wideupper at gmail dot com. That's men's group dot wideupper at gmail dot com to get more details. Um, no alcohol, no drugs. Come with a clear mind and connect with your community. Great. How lovely is that? Yeah. A nice way to commu- communicate and connect with other people. They also run a, an indoor event, uh, also regularly at yes. um, the old courthouse in Atherton. Um. Every first and third Thursday of every month um, at the community courthouse, 7 till 9 p.m. Once again, um, for that, there is also more information at mensgroup.widedupper at gmail.com. Great. Hey, there's a, a comedy festival Ooh. at the truck stop uh, in Greytown. You know where that is? Just kind of just slightly outside of Greytown, isn't it? I have to say, I haven't been there. Liars Laughs. Now, it's not liars, not not people telling lies this is liars um who uh, make al- non-alcoholic spirits oh, okay. liars laughs comedy festival at truck, st- truck stop Greytown. let's see this is on saturday eight o'clock in the evening till nine live comedy is back in Greytown for a five night summer season at truck stop sponsored by liars non-alcoholic spirits Featuring a changing lineup of some of your favourite comedians, clowns and circus acts. Not just stand up, but fall over as well. <laughs> Enjoy international quality live comedy and some refreshing liars cocktails from the unleaded bar at Truck Stop, right in the heart of Greytown. So that's uh, on Saturday, uh, the 17th, which is tomorrow, we've got uh, MC Neil Thornton, he's from the States with Trent H. Bauman from Australia and Sri Nair, who's uh, Indian via Upper Hut. (laughs) Always Upper Hut. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And there's another one on Saturday, the 7th of January. We'll tell you about that then. And more acts to be announced. Obviously, it's a five-week thing, as I said. Free entry. Any koha will go to the truck stop Greytown team to help with their running costs over the summer. So it's it's a koha so they're not uh, bleeding you dry and they're using that money so they can do more events like this sounds wonderful. like a good thing. definitely need more things going on yeah you got any more i don't have any more you've got no more well does that it, mean that, it's time for a song i think it does now this is every so often well every so often lots of um new zealand artists and actually artists from all over the world um send us songs and say you know do you want to put these on your playlist and uh if they're from overseas i just say no because during our non-program time here we like to play exclusively new zealand music and there are so many of them it's so hard to listen to them all and so i do it kind of randomly and i listened to this one i thought here we go christmas a new zealand christmas song what's it going to be like because there's been a whole load of these over the years and some of them are not that brilliant no 
Um, but this one had real wit mm. and good vocals, just generally, I think, cut above. So this is um, Anna Van Reel with Christmas in New Zealand. Now, because this is on my phone and my phone doesn't always behave as you might expect, I'm going to have to come round to Cameron's side of the microphone of the desk and get it going. All right. No problem. I'll, I'll keep the conversation going while yeah, you do that. Yeah, talk quietly amongst yourselves. Talk quietly amongst yourselves as I stare into the abyss and talk to myself. And Michael Not unplugs me. something. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'm pretty sure we're still still all right here. And he's going to sort that music. And what was it? Anna Real Christmas in New Zealand. All right. Give me a C, C, eating hot chips at the beach. Give me an H, H. having a heat wave. Give me an R, R, I'll race you to the car. It's 10 o'clock at night and it's still light. Give me an I, I. imagine Santa's here tonight. Give me an S, e. I got sandal through my dress. Give me a T, footy replays on TV. Snapper in the sink. I caught it today out there in the bay. Let's pitch the tent. We don't have to pay the rent because we put the house on Airbnb. Check out the break. There's dolphins in the way. Throw on your fins. Take the snorkel for a spin. Pass the guitar. We'll sing beneath the stars. Chuck those tidies on the fire. They'll be right. Christmas in New Zealand, you're for me The weather's always balmy and we're low-key We don't need the hype, just a decent beat tonight And the family around the bonfire Christmas in New Zealand, you're alright Afternoon naps on the sofa Pass it to me Picnic plate rests on my knee My jandals are stuffed From sliding down the bluffs But man it was fun We invited everyone And everyone came I'd love to do it all again But we'll have to wait till next year at Christmas So blow out the match Don't forget to lock the batch Empty the boat I'm stuck, this blimmin' thing still floats Sing, hide it on Load the family in the car I wish every day we could live this way Christmas in New Zealand, you're for me The weather's always balmy and we're low-key We don't need the hype, just a decent feed tonight And the family around the bonfire Christmas in New Zealand Christmas in New Zealand, you're for me And the whole family round the bonfire Christmas in New Zealand You're alright Yeah, we don't need the hype Just a decent feed tonight Me too <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I think, you know, it's a kid's song um, But it's got some real wit um, Alright, that was uh, Anna Van Real, Christmas in New Zealand Very little left on my list But um, what you got there? I've got um, Tararua Cinematic presents A Christmas Carol. Um, this is at the Regent Theatre on Sunday. Yeah, that's the Regent Theatre in Pahiatua, right? Couldn't tell you. Yeah. I'm well, telling you. Oh, you're is. telling? Because okay, yep. <laughs> they do, they've been doing a lot of interesting things over there. They have whole seasons of different kind of frequently older films. Yeah. 
So um, they're very uh, proactive, and and uh, the person who organises it has been on Film Talks, one of our programmes, yes. with Jane Ross, and spoken about it, and mm. pretty good. So this is um, this is the Christmas Carol, isn't it? Christmas Carol. Um, that's at seven pm on Sunday. Um, they have s they made for TV in 1984. This version stars a flawlessly fiendish George C. Scott as Ebenezer, Ebenezer Scrooge. He's and made his career out of being grumpy. Me George too. George C. Scott. Oh, you too. Maybe I should work on that. Yeah, My you frown. could be the next Scrooge. Ooh, I like that. I'm not a Christmas person. But <laughs> they've got a supporting cast of great English stage and screen actors, including David Warner, Susanna York, Frank Finlay, Roger Rees, uh, Edward Woodward, Michael Gow, and Nigel Davenport, and released theatrically only in the UK. This is one of the most accurate, most endearing, and most terrifying Whoa. versions of Dickens's tale. Uh, join us for this um, Christmas tale and see the movie on the New Zealand big screen as it's never been seen before. Literally. Some good actors in there. David mm. Warner is a really great actor. I really like his stuff. And... Uh, it says terrifying. That's concerning. Do they really have the ghost with the chains? I would say terrifying. so. Yeah. Mm. I see that Edward Woodward is in that, and I remember him once saying on television, he said that to to demonstrate how important the letter D was to the English Woodward. language, if if there were no Ds, his name would be Iwa Wuwa. <laughs> Iwa. Yeah, you'd be right there. Yeah. Iwa Wuwa. Oof, his parents so, did not name him nicely. <laughs> so, um, right, so that's uh, Cinematique out at the Tararua, uh, out at the Regent in yes. Pahiatua, right? Mm -hmm. Went, what, what was the time and date again? That was Sunday, 18th of December at 7 o'clock. So right. this Sunday at 7. All right, now I got a thing about Carol Bean in concert, and it says it's at Studio 73. And I had to look up where Studio 73 is, but it's it's where Greyhound Little Theatre is now. I didn't even know Greyhound had a theatre. Oh, yeah, yeah, for a long while. They'll be, they'll be furious I'm at not, me for saying that. I'm <laughs> not very updated on um, locations no. in the wider upper. Okay, so this is on Sunday. Um, she's a guitarist and a lover of blues and Americana music, and she's equally at home belting out a Memphis mini song in a blues club as she is offering a John Prine blue song um, and other stuff at a house concert she does all sorts of stuff so she features her repertoire features original songs from her own albums and obviously all of those influences Doc Watson, Ry Cooter, Bonnie Raitt, Lucinda Williams like Lucinda Williams Tony Joe White and Gillian Welch, all those. So she moved from Los Angeles to New Zealand and she's played several times in Auckland and Wellington folk festivals, Cuba Dupa, Coast Coachella, and twice yeah. at the New Zealand Blues Festival in Rotorua. An impressive list. Yeah. Oh, see, she's worked with uh, Dave Murphy and Ray Ahipene Mercer. I remember Ray. He was on the city council in Wellington. He also makes his own guitars. Oh, impressive. That's not an easy feat. Yep. Hey, he doesn't do it with his feet. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. So, uh, I've forgotten when it is again. It's on Sunday at 4 o'clock at Studio 73. <laughs> so, um, that's kind of it from us. Uh, I won't be here next week because my daughter and family are coming over from Australia. Australia. And because I'm the one with the key, you won't be here either, Cameron. No, I will not be. So, I don't know, you're just going to have to work it out for yourselves, people. Uh, get on to Event Finder uh, and find out what's happening. Obviously, you, you just have to, have to go outside your door and there's Christmas stuff happening all over. Mm. Creates a quite a busy environment in town. Yeah. Where the people across the road from us have got some Christmas lights up and it, you forget and you, you go down the, the corridor at our house, the hall, to the toilet in the middle of the night and you think, am I 
having an epileptic seizure or oh that's right it's the flashing mm. christmas lights coming through my door across the road at ours there's um a lot of flashing lights as well but they're red and blue so i always think when i you know pop up in the night to go get a drink of water that the police are outside my door mm. and i'm like oh what have i done <laughs> yeah and i suppose that's confusing because sometimes the police are outside your door and sometimes not and sometimes they're asking me where did i put the cake where did it go did i steal it yeah Right. <laughs> well known in um, enforcement circles. All right, that's pretty much it from us. So we have to, grumpy or not, wish you a happy Christmas. <laughs> Very Merry Christmas. And uh, we're off. Uh, people are still coming in during the Christmas break. It's true. Uh, program makers and uh, Veronica and Marina are here almost right through. We take the stats off, of course. So it's all happening and all of our exclusively New Zealand music will be playing during all the non-program time. So thanks for another year of listening to us and occasionally watching us if you're watching on Wired Upper Television. And that's it. I'm out of here. You're out of here. We're out of here. See ya. Merry Christmas.